This is Tank's Vlog for January 29th, 2019, wrapping up the day in sports. We're brought to you by Allow Me To Be Frank, the weekly podcast. Well, we'll be weekly again soon. Just be patient. That's on SoundCloud and iTunes. So tune in, subscribe, and when we start uh, doing shows again, you will be the first to know. It was media day in Atlanta as the Patriots and Rams met the press. And of course, this was uh, the NFL showing once again how out of touch they are as Dave Portnoy nearly got arrested. What the hell is wrong with the NFL? Do they do they want this? It's it's like a big joke. I mean, what was Dave asking that the NFL was so offended about? He went up to uh, Todd Gurley and talked to him about his lying down. Oh, I get it. He made a clown shirt of Roger Goodell. Right? Is there anyone more thin-skinned than Roger Goodell? Seriously. Roger Goodell is like the, the guy that you put the sign on that you say, kick me. And, and you just, you got to kick him. You know, it, it really is like a competition between Roger Goodell and Gary Bettman to who could be the worst commissioner? Anything you could do, I could do worse. No, you can't. Yes, I can. I can make things even worse than you. <sighs> immediate day. You know, you gotta have had the players go talk to the press. And this isn't just, this isn't just the sports press. Now they bring in everybody. They bring in kids. They bring in uh, MTV. They bring in all the, like, the, the, uh, Access Hollywood and all the bullshit. Yet, Dave Portnoy can't talk to the press. He gets, gets escorted out of the Phillips Arena. So stupid. Dumb. Dumb. Meanwhile, ESPN announced today that baseball tonight is going off the air. I guess we're going to have more PTI, more... More part of the interruption. <clears throat> more debate shows, more... X Games. The X Games. Good God, the X Games suck. More basketball, more three-on-three, three, I guess, this summer. Baseball should just drop ESPN. Drop ESPN like it's hot. Give them, give them nothing to show. Stick things on Major League Baseball Network. They have a better highlight show anyway. ESPN. Oh, I, I guess I guess that's why uh, Portnoy was kicked out. Yes, sir. Not part of the ESPN uh, movement. Pathetic. In sports that are actually played on Monday night, the NHL resumed after the All-Star break with a pair of games. And one of them was New Jersey Devils. And they actually went out there and played good tonight. There you got Power play goals, shorthanded goals, even shrank goals as they destroyed the Pittsburgh Penguins 6 3 in Pittsburgh. You know, the Devils are only 19 23 and 7, worst record in the Eastern Conference. Do you believe three of their wins? 3 and 0 against the Penguins. Why can't the Devils play like this every night? Uh, they should pretend everyone's the Penguins. I mean, uh, Sidney Crosby, absolutely non-factor. It's it's the Devils just 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 like taking apart the Penguins all all year. They've done it now, and the uh, Flyers actually stunned the Jets. Got their fourth straight win. Uh, nice, another uh, good start in net by Carter Hart. Um, as the uh, beat the Winnipeg Jets three to one. 
NBA, uh, good things must come to an end. And for the Nets, that was tonight as their six-game winning streak came to, a, came to an end in Boston with a 112-104 loss to the Celtics. Now, that's not a bad loss. Keep in mind, Celtics are a true contender who have underachieved at times this first half, but no Spencer Dinwiddie, and they actually were in the game most of the way. Uh, they only down one to, to the start of the first fourth quarter before the Celtics pulled away. So, even in a loss, there are positives for how the uh, Nets are playing. Meanwhile, every loss you take... Helps you get away. The Knicks lost again. 101 to 92. Yes, this time the Knicks lost to the Hornets. What is this now? Nine in a row? Ten in a row? I mean, ten and 39. The Knicks are tanking it right. Tank it up. Tank it up. Tank it up. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Warriors took down the Pacers for their 11 straight win, 132-100. It was the Nuggets, 95-92 winners over the Grizzlies, despite a strong performance by Marc Gasol. It was uh, the Hawks beating the Clippers, 123-118. Today's three stars are Travis J. Jack of the Devils, who had a goal and three assists in their sudden shocking 6-3 win over the Penguins. Tobias Harris had a good night for the Clippers in a losing effort to the Hawks. And Mark Gasso uh, also had a good night for the Grizzlies in a losing effort to the Nuggets. In fact, it's Mark Gasso's birthday on Tuesday. He turns 34. However, our birthday shout-out goes to one of the top goalies of the 90s, other than Martin Brodeur, of course, and uh, also was uh, had a good uh, run in the 2000s, winning a Stanley Cup with the Red Wings after coming close and missing with the Sabres, and I'm talking about Dominic Hasek, who turns 54. And this was 1994 when... Julio Cesar Chavez, in his 91st fight, finally lost, losing a split decision to Frankie Randall. And get this, he would not have lost this fight if it wasn't for a low blow, a controversial low blow in the 11th round. Because on the uh, one scorecard, he only lost by one point, and he got a two-point deduction. So he could have gotten up to 90-0-1. If he had won this fight. Incredible. I don't think we'll ever have a boxer that fought as often. Fought as hard. I mean, you have all this hugging, which has killed the damn sport. Julio Chavez went toe-to-toe with people. Tried to knock him out. Knocked many people out. He didn't try. He didn't. He didn't Floyd Mayweather a fight into boring everyone to death. By hugging everyone. And just trying to. Get to a uh, 12 round decision. No. Julio Chavez went out to beat people and he did. And he was just one of the absolute legends. He was a super uh, lightweight, uh, just out, out, please, absolutely just dominated the sport for a long time. And. Just think about, just think he went 90 fights. He was 89-0-1 going into that fight. And the draw was a little controversial. He should have lost the draw to Pernod Whitaker a year earlier. But that would have, that was after 87. He was 87-0 and before he had a draw. So check out the story of Barstool Sports. And at Sports Encyclopedia where Sports History Lives. And don't forget to listen to Allow Me To Be Frank. The podcast you can hear on SoundCloud and iTunes. We should be getting back to recording very soon, so keep your ears open. Good day.